Hey beauties, it's Daisy. Welcome to my channel. Today we have 30 inches for you, honey. 30 inches. Can you guys see that? Crazy. It looks so good. You're going to love it. So if you're interested, make sure you keep on watching. Hey beauties, it's Daisy here and I'm back with another video. Today we have this U part wig and oh my gosh, I can't wait to show you guys. It is this nice, beautiful brown color. It's like a chestnut brown. It's actually the color four. So I wanted to try a different color and see how it matches, especially since I have highlights in my hair. So I think this is going to come out well, okay? So I got my natural hair out, as you can see, did my makeup. So this is going to be super easy. So I'm going to start off by sectioning off the hair. Then I'm just going to twist this piece in the back, make it like a little fun. So now I'm just gonna take my little bangs here. You see, I highlighted the front. I wanted to give myself like a little pop of color. I was tired of having regular no, dark brown hair. I was bored at home. <laughs> and yeah, I like it. So let's get a little bit of swoop action here. Not too much, but just enough. And I'm using Gots to be glue to lay this down. Cause this black bottle with well, a black bottle Gots to be glued actually is like the best to keep all your baby hairs in place. And you want to be careful because I already did my makeup. That's why I always try. That's why I always like do my makeup last because I hate when baby hairs get in the makeup. It looks a little cakey, but we are going to make this work. Now my hair is natural, so it kind of does what it wants to do. Now it's time for the wig, the moment y'all been waiting for. So as you can see, this wig has plenty of cones, it has two on the side, one in the middle, um, one little further lower to the side, and also in the back. So this wig will be secured, sis, all day. It better. <laughs> and if you are like looking to wear this wig long-term, you can also just like sew it down if you know how to do that. So one thing about me, I really actually hate clips and combs because it irritates the heck out of my head. You just wanna snap each side. Then you can't forget the corners. All right, and then we're gonna snap the back. And then bam, I got inches just that fast. Uh, and so I already straightened this hair off camera. I'm gonna like touch it up a little bit, but this wig came out the packaging super straight. So that's a good thing. Let me get back here show you guys how long this hair is. Look at this. This is freaking amazing. <laughs> it's down past my butt. And I'm tall, y'all. I am 5'8". So first things first, we have to cover up the parting space. Yo, people on Instagram fried me last time because I did a U-part wig and I forgot to comb 
the hair in the back. Like, I don't know what I was thinking. It was just blending in so good, I just forgot. Now, <laughs> to make sure I do that this time, so y'all don't come for me. But the wig was still cute though, so it don't matter. And the thing is, my hair is thinner on the top. Like, sometimes you can still see that little line where that, well, the wefts or the weave or whatever. So we just gotta double check, make sure that's good. Get that part right. And really, I think I was just messing with the part so much that, um, that the hair came from the back. So you just wanna make sure you just, you, you keep checking your wig and nothing is sticking up or no hairs or anything. So I got a little hump right here. But it's looking good, looking good. And I like how it's blending in with my hair and I haven't even like straightened my hair. So it's looking so good so far. Yes, this is what we like, a bomb wig. Uh -uh. All right, then I'm gonna use a little bit of this frizz busters and that is gonna help to take out some of this frizz here. And how I make sure that everything blends, I just flat iron the hair with the weave. See that? Like magic, this chi, this chi will do it for you. I had this for years and hasn't stood me wrong yet. And just like that, I'm done, y'all. Look at this. This hair is super straight and sleek. Y'all can see this, look, a close up. This hair is so pretty. And it blends in with my hair. I love it. I love the little highlight, just giving me a pop of color. And luckily the hair is brown because my natural hair is dark brown. So it just blends in like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to slay for the day, y'all know. Yeah. Let me just fix the beauty baby hair. My baby hairs never want to stay in place. My natural baby hairs at that. <laughs> Cause my natural hair likes to do what it wants, when it wants. So that's the best it's gonna get for me. I don't have those super thick baby hairs like some of y'all, unfortunately. But at least I got just enough to get this look popping. So I wanna thank you, Lisa Hair, for sending me 
this hair I am slaying for the day. I love it. I know you guys are gonna love it too. If you enjoy this video, please show your support. Give your girl a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button below to my next video. Bye.